of W you use wherewithal in a sentence and no one understands what it means? Was I born in the wrong century? What's up guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're looking at r slash I am very smart. I got a 93 on my algebra final. This doesn't sound very impressive but I'm so proud of myself. I've always struggled in math, receiving F's, D's, and C's, and for once in my life I've done well. Maybe math isn't so bad after all. Nice job! That's awesome. It is an impressive accomplishment. Nah, what's more impressive is that I was able to keep straight A's on all of my quizzes and tests, and the fact that I always use my laptop and never paid much attention in class. What's impressive is how far your head is up, whoa, 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 and that's where the post cuts off, we don't need to see more of that. Haters gonna hate. I might be an idiot, but I got a full ride in college. 100% tuition covered on an academic scholarship, Edward J. Blustein Distinguished Scholar. Never studied for a test, I never gave a crap about the number, but in retrospect, now that I'm an adult, I wish I had been told earlier how different I was. Always thought I was just a little smarter than the average bear, hmm. But now as an adult, I continue to grow in my interests and pursuits, while many around me seem stuck or stifled where they are. Both the terms have been Minimalist and polymath have been used by another's to describe me. Thanks for the info on Stephen Hawking. I used to think I was crazy for sitting on top of a mountain for hours at a time pondering stuff like, what really is a photon? But in light of your new information, I suppose it's normal behavior. Have a nice life. That's only a $1,000 annual scholarship. I am better than you. I'm smarter, classier, more interesting. I care about the world, I have deeper emotions than, those shoes are pretty, I don't care about that. Yes, I am an elitist, but last time I checked, the elitists ruled the world. Not the mindless masses, you buy things that are in fashion, even when they look awful. And you claim to care about beauty, but don't put any thought into it. And speaking of thought, when, what was the last deep thought you had? And you, you little drama-filled teenager, you are so typical I could scream. I'm going away. I'm going to college so I can find people who love to think, to read, to write, to be themselves, to dream. Not to be stuck in some little nothing town, thinking nothing thoughts. And I'm not religious. I don't believe in God. <coughs> God, I'm getting allergic to all this pretentiousness. And I'm not religious. I don't believe in God, and I don't pray. You're a hypocrite. And it gets to the point where I can't stand sitting with you. Or talking to you. Can I even speak with you? What shall we speak of? Bags? Shoes? How good this tastes? What about art? What about passion and injustice and violence? What about the world? Ugh, stay in your place. Stay in it. You couldn't crawl out if you tried. Study me. I never get bit. My wife gets eaten alive. Mostly because I've optimized my biochemistry after studying a bit of molecular biology. A uniform with your name on it is waiting for you. We're hiring. I'm too nice to be a police officer. However, as a coder, I could basically create a black web search bar that would find most criminals easily, or people trying to do bad stuff. Like bully me online. Last night confirmed Bran Stark is one of the more useless, overrated characters in television history. One of the most. More is typically used when relating two things. Most when relating more than two things. Especially if you're gonna say one of the. You're definitely referring to more than two things. I BS'd 3,700 words, creating an entire company's extranet not giving a crap it was worth 300 points. Got a 300 out of 300 and my professor told me it was genius. Okay lady, whatever you say, I mean I guess having this high IQ if it makes my BS genius. <laughs> oh well, I'll take it. Oh god, this is making me out of breath. I hate this guy. I hate this, this these people, these, these pretentious little, little worms. My brother who chooses to get C's. Today, my teacher told me that despite being in seventh grade, I could read in a college level. I didn't need her to tell me that since my IQ is so high and everyone kind of knew. Y'all are so lucky your IQs aren't high. I bet it makes conversation easy when you don't think. When people get bored in school, they draw random crap. I got bored and drew most of the periodic table of elements from memory. I am smart. I would rather cuddle than smash. If you're good at grammar, you'll get it. Wow, an angel? Me? Of course. You're the most beautiful thing I've seen. 
Are you not afraid of me? Do you have disgust of me? No, no, you're very cute. That's adorable, it's an adorable little comic. Someone posted this and asked what people thought about it. My answer, Toxoplasma gondii parasite. One of the world's most common parasites. I'm so much fun at parties. I'm not im. It's a contraction, you see. One keystroke shorter than I am. You, on the other hand, attempt to get by with im. A meaningless word. I am not even sure how to respond to that foolishness. Eat a wiener. Do you know how to respond to that? This video was about 65% acknowledgement and 35% rebuttal. When the discrepancy is that wide, it's 100% damage control from being roasted. Why do I waste my time with these big words? The majority of these videos have an audience who has 60% of an average intelligence. Drug dealing actually doesn't pay that well. A lot of drug dealers ought to actually don't have a good business acumen. Sometimes I would consider the game, given my business education and background. But upon business analysis, my specialty, not for me. They refuse to compete with me on an intellectual level, because that is a battle they know they will inevitably lose. Okay, Venom. Albert Einstein is wrong. He is given E equals MC square proof error. Multiple rule of differential calculus mathematics is impossible to apply on mass. Mass is state constant at speed of light. Mass change only state of matter. You dummies. That is worse than seeing your post already has 20 upvotes in half a minute, but after that it stops. I don't actually take part in sharing posts via Reddit as I do not care about the karma points. I regularly browse Reddit only to spread my knowledge and be useful. The fact that people care about fake points makes me very angry. Why not try doing something useful instead? For example, learning Latin. I didn't become successful by posting on Reddit. Most of you, by most I mean all, won't become as successful slash rich as me, but please at least try doing something better. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? False. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Mitochondria is plural. The singular is mitochondrion. If that's the only thing you learned from school, I'm sorry to say you messed that up too. I have done this with at least 15 games easy. I've never finished this game, and it's been a while since I played. Better start over! I usually finish games within a few days of getting it. I guess not everyone is able to figure out the fastest ways to finish games. I usually look for patterns in level design and identify the fewest things I have to do to get from one level to the next. This is just how I always was. I'm able to get through 10 to 15 each month. But I could do more if I felt like it. Me, nobody uses law anymore. Me, uses law 282,762,475 times that hour. <laughs> Lol, just wondering, how old are you? You're creepy. Although, yes, this is funny. Math isn't on your side. Assuming it takes two tenths of a second to press one key, and it takes estimately 0.60 seconds to type LOL, there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Taking 3,600 divided by 282,762,475, you get 1.273153E-5, or in words you understand, 0.00001273153. This number represents how long you would have to take exactly to type LOL in order to fit 282,762,475 lols in one hour. Assuming it takes six tenths of a second to type the word. So yes, blank. Law is overused, but 282 million times in one hour is just impossible. Here's another fact. If you counted one number greater every second, it would take 12 days to count to 1 million. To count to 282,762,475, that would take 3,272 days, or approximately 8.9663-3926 years. Fun fact too, it would take 32 years to count to 1 billion. By the way, just wondering, how old are you? <laughs> And no brain in the heads to understand what I'm saying to them. When I was seven, I tested at 111 IQ, comparatively smarter than most adults, not even my age. Over 120 IQ was smarter than most adults, into the adult gifted range. Not the child gifted range, the adult gifted range. As a child, I was genius level. According to the two freaking intelligences out of eight, I could have even been good at at age seven. And even then, after evaluation, I think I hit near genius level at seven of the eight, even today. And it does nothing for me. When I was 19, I marked at 134 IQ on the WAS-3, which is Mensa level intelligence, and only serves to show I was in the fourth percentile of adults that had been tested in the world, and two of the freaking intelligences they measure. Which is a load of bullcrap.
Even though I'm pretty sloshed, and I can still write a big old post with mostly correct grammar and be fine. Some folks see me make a post somewhere while drunk and see my responses and go, Oh wow, that's pretty coherent. Welcome to being smart, mother effer. Nothing gets me away from my own brain. Welcome to heck. Most folks while sloshed can't do this. I tested this way off Adderall, Busperone, Microgestin, Propranolol, and Ablify. All things that combine to make my disorders mostly disappear and make me 95% more functional than I've ever been. Now at 27, I'm suspecting I would be in genius level IQ at the age I am now. At least I know the difference between foot and feet. Or perhaps you're one of those gay spelling freaks. Leave the law physics and fluid dynamics to more intelligent people like me. Y'all think it's funny to reinforce the socio-normativity implying that platonormative society is funny while oppressing marginalized platonic-oriented people? such as aplatonics. This is a form of aphobic allonormativity, strictest suppletism, and veraphobic sedexism. Bro, what language is this? Sisyphus works from home. Please understand that only educated people will get this. A refreshing counter to the I don't need no education post so fashionable lately. I am smarter than the president, most elected Republicans, a crap load of elected Democrats, apparently the two most powerful members of UK Parliament before today, and last week I made should accidentally destroy my electronic car keys while hitting golf balls. This should scare you. Interestingly, and insultingly enough, they make you line up like cattle to be your own waitress and fetch your own water. Not a very sophisticated way to serve customers. It's fascinating to observe how intellectually limited some people are, and yet, still survive. Good for a takeaway coffee and a quiet chuckle at their lack of awareness. Please don't complain to me about how life is so horrible because you can't watch Game of Thrones the day it comes out. I'm over here calculating the Big Bang probabilities, so your crisis is literally too minuscule in the scope of things. Thanks, Big Brain. When people ask me what my GPA is, I say, I don't like to talk about marks. <laughs> this is not because I have a low GPA, but because my GPA is really high and they'll feel bad about their marks. In a way, I am withholding my marks from others as a public service. You're welcome. Hello. Uh, how do I know you? No, I was just on the FB and I found your picture, so I sent you a friend request. I hope it does not bother you. As long as you're real and don't hack my page, I could give two craps. Why? Dude, I have a 157 IQ and don't trust you already. Okay, bye. Completely different take on it based on personal experience. First, I'm gonna tell you my personal experience and then the theory. So, I'm kind of smart. I'm an overthinker that can figure stuff out pretty quickly, a great logical thinker and a good memorizer, but I have a huge problem. I'm a procrastinator. So I recently started drinking coffee. Is the word schwifty in here? And it had pretty schwifty effects on me. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I started being less lazy and even smarter. I could easily do tasks and homework pretty quickly without even thinking a lot. I can also like feel literally no lane or laziness while doing homework. I just do it while thinking about literally anything else. I can also still memorize even if I'm not focusing on the subject. It also enhances my memory, thinking, and reaction speed. And it makes it easier for me to redirect my overthinking and thoughts to the problem on hand so that I can fix it quickly and efficiently. So anyways, I am already smart, but coffee makes me even smarter and better as a person in general. By the way, I also have this effect happen to me rarely without coffee and it felt so good. So I was shocked when I saw that effect coffee had on me. I see, very smart. Honestly, I feel the same as this kid. As a kid who is about the same age as he is, I too have tried on numerous occasions to determine alternatives to the speed of light, be it through redefining the permeability of free space to not just through a vacuum, to changing the Dell operators for the equipotential services along electric potentials. This is a joke, right? For your feeble mind, anything but crayon art would be too advanced for you. I'll bet you have no idea what I just said, did you? I'm reading it up on a lot of vector calculus, friend. Do you even know what a vector gradient is? I thought not. SMH! Look at your username. Pathetic. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, a rare spectacle of an r slash I am very smart person posting an r slash I am very smart without realizing the irony. Ash? Hyperbolic? As a fellow lexicon aficionado, I'm quite impressed with your panoply of words. Finally, another soul whose wherewithal is similar to that of mine in terms of vocabulary. WDF are you on about, virgin? This is the worst school in America. It doesn't care for its students. Only the principal cares for themselves and the teachers are mean and untrustworthy and they embarrass you in front of class and the assignments are bogus. Yes, I used a big word because I'm that smart. And that brings us to the end of r slash I am very smart. And listen, my IQ points are through the roof. 
and I hope yours are too. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to MK for more content, and as always, I'll be seeing you.